Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of electronic super important questions and in this video we have 7 super important questions from the previous paper and the model question paper. Don't miss any of them. These are the most repeated ones and before starting please do like and subscribe. It helps me make more videos like this. So without wasting more time let's get started. The first question is explain ladder network with a circuit diagram. Okay, so uh, what is a ladder network? So this is the ladder network. Okay, what happens uh, initially? There is a negative cycle, right? Then what happens in the output? Uh, positive cycle comes there, and wherever positive is there, negative uh, comes there. So there is a phase shift happening. Phase shift means what is the angle that is getting reversed by 180 degree? Okay. So this is the circuit diagram you have to make. Two resistors are here, followed by three capacitors, each with a resistor here, and there will be a TR1 here, and uh, there will be a capacitor with a another resistor here. Okay, that's all. This is the V out, which is uh, we are taking the uh, output from. And uh, this is the input. Okay, from here the input will be there. Now a few key points related to the ladder uh, network is T R1 operates as a conventional common emitter amplifier state with R1 and R2 providing base bias. Okay, so uh, T R1 is the uh, emitter, common emitter. Okay, and R1 and R2 is going providing the bias. Okay, and R3 and C1 are providing the emitter stabilization. Okay, R3 and C1. This part is providing stabilization. Okay, these are the two points. And total phase shift provided by C R ladder is 180 degree. Okay. These are the key points you need to write, and uh, the loss associated with that network must be compensated with the transistor amplifier in order for the circuit to oscillate. Okay, whatever the loss is there, that has to be compensated by the transistor. Okay, and the frequency formula is also given. This is also another key point you need to write. Okay, so uh, pro from the ladder network oscillator, first you will be writing this diagram, and uh, you will be writing these key points which are discussed. Okay. Moving on to the second question, which is uh, explain what is multi vibrator okay, and uh, the principal types of multi vibrator with suitable circuit diagram. Explain single state multi vibrator using operational amplifier. Okay, op amp. Now, what is multi vibrator? In multi vibrator, we are going to get a square wave. Okay, normal wave it will convert to a square wave that is called as a multi vibrator. Okay, so. Multi vibrator use regenerative positive feedback and active devices are present within the oscillator, and those are known as switches. Okay, principal multi vibrators are a stable multi vibrator and mono stable and bi stable. Okay, a stable provides a continuous strain of pulses, mono stable produces a single output pulse, and bi stable produces two stable states. Okay, and requires a trigger from one state to another state if it wants to change. Now, single state uh, st stage A stable multi vibrator will be like this. Okay, here there will be a resistor followed by an op amp here, and this will be capacitor followed by two resistors here. Okay, and this is the waveform, this is the capacitor voltage, and this is the output which gets in converted into the form of square waves. Okay, and A stable uh, oscillator using op amp uh, with uh, waveforms. Okay, this is the key point you need to write. Initially, C is uncharged. Okay, capacitor is uncharged initially, and the voltage at an inverting uh, input is slightly less than the voltage at the non inverting output. Okay, this is the inverting output, and this is the non inverting output. Okay, in the inverting output, it will be slightly less than the non inverting output, and the output voltage will rise rapidly to plus VCs, and the voltage at the inverting input will begin to rise exponentially as the capacitor C charges through R. Okay, so what happens when the capacitor gets charged? Okay, this is the capacitor when it gets charged. Okay, when it gets charged, what happens? The voltage rises to VCC, the inverting output voltage, as well as the uh, capacitor gets reversed. Okay, the voltage at the uh, inverting end gets reversed. Okay, so what happens? The uh, waveform which we will be getting is in this form. Okay, like this form, we will be getting the um, output. Okay. So that was about the uh, multi vibrator. Moving on to the third super important question, we have uh, with an e circuit diagram, it describes the operation of C controlled oscillator. Okay, crystal controlled oscillator. Okay, so this is the diagram you need to make. This is the output which will be getting, and the diagram is as follows. Okay, here we have the resistor and the inductor and capacitor, and here we have the uh, common emitter. Okay, this is the diagram you need to make. and here what happens it should maintain the uh, same frequency the main thing of crystal control uh, oscillator is that exact frequency of the oscillation is maintained okay so quartz crystal is a thin slice of quartz with sealed enclosure vibrates whenever a potential difference is applied across its spaces okay this effect is called as piezoelectric effect okay and the frequency is determined by the crystal's cut and phys uh, physical size okay you have to write these key points and make this diagram and uh, corresponding uh, waveform also okay Moving on, we have the next super important question, which is define the following with respect to operational amplifier and write its typical values. Okay, so first is what is what is open loop voltage gain? Okay, this is a very much repeated question. The definitions. Okay, open loop voltage is nothing but it is defined as output voltage ratio with input voltage ratio. Okay, and in practical, it is very high value greater than um, one lakh. Okay. 
it can be thought of as an internal voltage that is the open loop voltage gain that is output uh, voltage divided by input voltage okay v out by v in okay next is uh, input offset voltage okay what is input offset uh, voltage input offset voltage is that an ideal amplifier would provide zero output voltage when zero defense is applied inputs okay the, whenever a zero output is uh, means whenever zero voltage is provided there will be zero output voltage okay so the amount of voltage that must be applied differentially to the operational uh, amplifier in order to make the output voltage exactly zero okay initially it will not be zero but some uh, voltage we will be applying so that the output voltage is zero that whatever we apply is called as input offset voltage okay and its range is from 1 to 5 milli uh, volts okay next is full power bandwidth okay full power bandwidth is a maximum undistorted uh, peak voltage that falls to 0 0.07 how much power we apply so that the voltage falls to 0 0.07 of the low frequency is called as the uh, full power bandwidth okay and it ranges from 10 kilohertz to 1 uh, megahertz next is slew rate it is a change of output voltage with respect to time okay that's all it is a change of output voltage with respect to time and uh, rectangular step for input voltage is applied when the uh, step input voltage is applied at that time how the output changes with respect to time that is the slew rate so it is v out by delta t okay means voltage divided by time Moving on to the next super important question, we have sketched the circuits of each of the following based on the use, use of op amp along with input and output waveforms. Okay, we have to sketch what uh, use of op amp. Okay, circuits by, uh, by using op amp along with input and output waveforms. Okay, first one is voltage follower. Okay, what does voltage follower do? It is a non inverting amplifier in which 100% of the output is fed back to the input. Okay and the uh, result is that voltage gain of 1 will happen okay and the very very row input resistance will be there that is the uh, voltage follower okay next is the differentiator okay in differentiator you will be having a circuit diagram where two inputs will be there okay v1 in and v in out and there will be a resistances here which are followed by op amp here this is the differential amplifier the gain will be output by input which is nothing but v in minus v in 2 minus v in 1 the differences between the second and the first voltage and uh, multiplied by the resistances rf by r in okay rf is this one and uh, r in is this one this, these both are same okay that is the uh, gain which we are go uh, going to get in the differentiator next one is integrator okay in integrator we will be having the resistance and capacitor here followed by an op amp here and this is the v in and v out okay so this is the input voltage which will be in a square form and the output voltage will be in a uh, triangular form that is an integrator okay next one is the com uh, com comparator comparator means comparing two voltages okay v1 and v2 are present we are comparing these two voltages whichever is the bigger voltage that will be having a higher value okay so this is the input voltage at here and this is at here which is greater this one is greater so there will be a high point here and here also if we check this is greater than uh, this point here so this will be having another high value here okay so this is called as a comparator wherever whichever will be having a higher value there it will be a higher one okay means vs will be higher and wherever a change happens see at this point a change is happening right after this point this is higher right after this point this is higher and this is lower so what happens the lower one will be considered here okay output voltage will be higher or lower based on these two values okay whichever is greater or smaller next is write a note on ideal characteristics of open this is also very much super important question there are six characteristics of an ideal open first is that the output voltage gain should be very high okay output uh open loop voltage gain and input resistance should be high output resistance should be low okay see open loop voltage gain should be very high the voltage which you are going to get from it that should be very high input should be very high in resistance and output resistance should be very low full power bandwidth should be wide as possible okay maximum uh, range covering bandwidth of the full power input offset should be as small as possible slew rate should be large as possible okay just remember these few points and if you write this much that should be sufficient when we go to the last super question we have the uh, wind uh, wind bridge oscillator using op amp okay so in wind uh, bridge oscillator you have to make this diagram okay you have to make this shape here and write a b c d okay a and b are the inputs and c and d are the outputs okay and four registers will be there one two three four except that here there will be a parallel register with a capacitor okay and this is the equivalent circuit diagram this and this both are same okay and this will be the output okay you just have to make the uh, diagram waveform like this and this will be time t okay now the key points you'll be writing is first is 
the network provides a phase shift which varies from the frequency okay what does wien bridge do it provides a phase shift minus 0 to 180 like that okay and input signal is applied to a and b and output is taken from c and d okay at one frequency the shift produced will be exactly zero when it will be zero when c1 will be equal to c2 and r1 will be equal to r2 okay at that time this will happen this is the formula you need to write minimum amplifier gain okay minimum amplifier gain if it is required to sustain oscillation in that case c1 by c2 plus r2 by r1 should be equal to av okay in most cases c1 and c2 and r1 and r2 will be equal phase shift will be zero and this will be the frequency okay when r1 equal to r2 equal to r and c1 is equal to c2 is equal to c at that time phase shift will be zero and the formula is given by this one okay it's all for this video and uh, please like and subscribe it helps you make more dislike this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one